MMA.com. This is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and I have Mario Pretty Boy Peterson, who's fighting on the Premier FC 22 card in Agawam on March 11th. He's fighting a, uh, an up and, another up and coming amateur in uh, Joe Mikolinski out of FAA. And uh, Mario fights out Extreme Ambition in New York, and he did come off a win for Premier in October uh, for Premier FC 21 where he came away with a second round uh, TKO win for his second amateur uh, win, and it was a great win at that. So Mario, welcome to the show. How the hell you doing, buddy? Uh, good, thank you for having me. Oh, I, I, I love the new guys. I love the new Amis coming on and getting their shit out there. So how are you feeling about this fight coming up? Uh, pretty good. I mean, last fight, uh, my diet was super off, and I really came into the cage with no energy, but that, I changed that a lot, and I feel great. I have a lot of energy, and I'm just ready to get in there. Nice. Now, uh, you said you didn't have much energy going in there. Were you cut, like, cut a lot of weight, and now you're getting used to the cut to, to well, well to weight? Yeah, the thing is, um, I uh, didn't have a job at the time, so... Whatever food was in front of me, that's what I did. <laughs> and I was at Grant, yeah, I was at Grant's a lot, so she didn't cook the best of things. So that so got, yeah, that way it was pretty hard. Yeah. But you got down to the welterweight mark and that's where that's where that's where you feel comfortable, correct? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Alright, so we're fight we're so we're going into this fight and you got a proper uh uh, uh, training camp with a good weight cut. You come out of train, uh, Extreme Ambition in New York where you had uh, Marco Zethier and, uh, and Tammy Ward, who is actually on the same card as you. Uh, they are coaches of yours, uh, training partners, friends, family. So how do you feel about coming out of that gym? Uh, great. I, I've been to a couple of other gyms before I got into competing and my first time at Extreme, uh, I went in there and Marco seen what I can do and he wanted to put me on the card right away. And that's uh, when I got on the Gladius card and uh, I won in the first round, 38 seconds. So, so Ma Ma really good. Marco seen that, seen that eye of the tiger in you, huh? Yeah, absolutely. He, he knew I was special, so he wanted to get me out there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Marco is an uh, excellent coach, uh, trains a lot of up-and-coming fighters, a lot of veterans also. Uh, Marco's coming off his second uh, uh, world championship for NADA. So uh, the dude, dude's dude been around, he knows MMA, he knows Jiu-Jitsu, so you got a great coach behind you there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Jiu-Jitsu helps a lot just because I'm a stand-up fighter. So that like in uh, my second fight, uh, all the all the things he taught me really gonna uh, help me out. Excellent. And you know your last fight, you did win by TKO, but you had the dude locked in a great triangle, which he was either gonna tap or he was gonna go unconscious either way by strikes or uh, or tapping. He didn't want to tap, so the the fight was called because you were just he, you were just pounding on him. So uh, you showed jujitsu in that fight, that's for sure. Also, with your striking, because uh, there was a stand-up battle in the beginning. I mean, it was you know a second round, uh, two-round fight, uh, but the first round had a lot of uh, a lot of stand-up. So you were showing damn good stand-up where you said that's kind of your base, correct? Oh yeah. Like, and, like I said before, I was exhausted before I even went into the cage. But if it if it stayed standing, I know I wouldn't knock them out just because my hands are heavy and that's what I like to do. Yeah. But you took them, you, you hit the floor and then you locked in a, a triangle and then you used some of your ground and pound and uh, and there we have, you have your second amateur win. Now let's talk about uh, Premier uh, 22 coming up in Agawam, same, same, uh, same place that it was last time. Um, you're fighting Joe Mikolinski now who's uh, he comes out of FAA, a very well-known uh, gym uh, out of Connecticut, and he's 1-0, and he's, he's, he's a pretty damn good fighter now. What do you know about Joe? Uh, honestly, nothing. <laughs> I know that his name's Joe, and he's 1-0. I really don't do much research on the person I'm fighting, just because 
I don't want to have any doubts in myself when I go into the cage. So I just believe that I'm going to win, and that's what I go in there with, just a positive attitude. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And you have coaches behind you giving you all the confidence in the world that you, you will go in here and you will let win that fight. Um, how do you feel about fighting for Premier again? Uh, uh, because I know you were on the card uh, in October and it was a huge card, a great success, a lot of fans there. Uh, how do you feel about coming back? Uh, I feel great, honestly. I had an opportunity to fight for somebody else, but uh, I, I just really wasn't into it. And then Marco said I could fight for Premier again, and I, I was excited just because the last place we fought, the venue was incredible, and I think that's what really got me motivated, but like, like coming down the stairs, walking down uh, to the cage, is just incredible. It, it's that real, real, uh, you know, top of the promotion kind of feel, isn't it? With the, it just feels good to oh, be yeah. in, in there. Yeah. And, and, it, and it shows in the fight. Fighters want to fight. They want to come out of that, you know, out of that dressing room when they hear that music and the lights are flashing, the crowd's going, and you're in New Amy and you want to get in there and show your shit. Uh, what's better than that, to have a kind of a promotion like that that's backing you and, uh, you know, going to show, show basically New England and New York and where you're from, uh, you know, your skills. So I can't wait to see you... Uh, there again, uh, yeah, how did you get into the martial arts? Like, did you, as a kid, what, what did you do? Uh, what was your progression into MMA? Oh, well, uh, honestly, uh, there was John Jones's 22nd birthday, and he was at Bobby's place where my stepdad worked, and he told me to come down and meet him, and uh, I took some pictures with him, I talked with him a little bit, and after that, it just, really motivated me to get into MMA. Excellent, excellent. And the damn good fighter right there to, 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 to get you into the MMA world, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, okay, Mario, uh, last question. How do we get in touch with you on social media? Shout outs, um, anything you want to say to friends, families, coaches? It's Now's your time. Oh, yeah, I want to thank uh, my coaches. Tammy and Marcos, uh, my gym at Stream Ambitions, uh, all, all my teammates, uh, mom, dad, and uh, you can find me on Instagram at official pretty boy MMA, and I'm on Facebook, Mario Peterson. Excellent. I love that nickname, by the way. It fits. It definitely fits. <laughs> Um, all right, Mario, uh, thanks for coming on. I'll see you in what? Uh, what are we, just a little over a week away? Yeah. Yeah, so you're ready to go, and I can't wait to see your coach Marcos there, and Timmy's on the same card, so it's going to be a big event for your gym. Uh, also, you have another training, uh, training partner there, but we're going to talk to him over the weekend. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a big event for you. You're going for your third amateur win at uh, Welterweight. You're fighting Joe Mikulinski. Thank you so much for coming on, Mario, and uh, train safe and have a have a, a nice weight cut up until uh, the twenty uh, up until the eleventh. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.